I want to take you through a few of the metrics that we wanted to look at on our scorecard. Again, we're a professional services firm. If you're a distribution uh, manufacturing personnel firm, you're going to have different metrics that you want to look at. But on the left, we had a metric around the number of team members that we have with our annual target there. So we're moving towards uh, our goal for the year in terms of how many folks that we need on staff. And then down below, we've got the number of <clears throat> people that we expect to be billing and how many hours they're going to be billing. I'll actually pull this up in uh, Power BI here to show you how it looks. So again, this is Microsoft's Power BI desktop tool. So Power BI is actually a free tool. So if you go out to the Power BI website, you can actually, all you need is an email and you can get started on using this. Um, and it's a great visualization tool. So uh, when you hover over something, you also get the ability to see additional details. So when I hover over the number of people available to bill, it's actually 74.6% of our workforce, which is a professional services organization, a good number. Uh, <clears throat> but as we hire additional internal staff, if this number goes down, then um, you know that's going to reflect on our overall profitability as an organization. This next section is around managing cash. So let's say uh, you had a million dollars in cash, which is a good number. Um, these are the rest of these numbers are all made up numbers here, but. Um, and then you can look on the top to see your overall accounts receivable balance. How much is current? What's um, past due? What's 31 days past due? 60 days, 90 days past due? And then this tree view will give you an idea of who are your biggest defenders from an account collection standpoint. So company nine um, is our worst defender because you can see their box is the biggest. So when I click on it, it actually does data interaction. So it'll tell me that Company nine owes us a total of eighty-two thousand dollars, forty thousand of which is current, eleven thousand of which is thirty days past due, and and thirty thousand of which is sixty days past due. So I know that I need to do something about it because they have our biggest outstanding balance. But I also know that you know I don't necessarily have to chase all eighty-two thousand of it. What I'm really concerned about is this eleven thousand, this thirty thousand here. So again, you can use the, this interaction between the different visuals to really give you a good sense of where you're going. Um, here I can look at what our consulting revenue was for the particular week. And here's an example of a margin number. So again, these numbers are made up. But say the margin was $65,000 for a week, and our target was 50. So this 50 is the benchmark that we're looking for. Hey, we were over our benchmark, so that was, that was a good week. Uh, as I mentioned, utilization is a key thing in the professional services organization. So here's a trend of how we've been performing utilization-wise. And you can see that with Power BI, there's actually um, the ability to put in a, an overall trend to give you a sense of how you're doing. But it looks like we're trending a little bit downward over the past 12 weeks. So um, you know, the last couple weeks have been good, but we did have this one poor week in here. And um, then here's a chance to look at your pipeline. <clears throat> so this is the weighted pipeline, which shows you, OK, I've got a million dollar opportunity with Northwind trailers. And its weighted amount is 500,000, which means that I've got a 50% chance. But it makes up 27% of my overall pipeline. <clears throat> so that's a big deal. I need to be worried about that. Here's Contoso. And that's a $750,000 opportunity. It makes up. Uh, a big chunk of our overall pipeline. So it's something I need to be worried about. So again, this is, and as you can see on here, we've only got one, two, we've got about 10 or 11 metrics that we're looking at on a weekly basis. So we're not trying to overcrowd this with a ton of different things, but um, making sure that we've got some of the key things that we want to be able to see on here. 